Hi everyone, this is going to be my week 21 update. I'm 21 weeks and 3 days pregnant today, so 21 and a half weeks. Um, yeah, we still don't know what the baby is. I don't know if I updated on that. Yeah, my appointment's July 20th, so then you will know. So, just about a week and a half, next Friday we find out and we are so excited. Um, we have no idea if it's a boy or a girl, of course, so um, we don't really have, like, the last time, if you watch my old videos, we thought Hanny Jean was a boy. <laughs> Not for any re particular reason, but just kind of like a guess, and we were wrong, so we don't guess anymore. <laughs> um, okay, some things that happened since the last video. I had my appointment with the hematologist and found out some interesting information. So, um, I went in and she was looking at my test results and she told me I had two anomalies. So not just the one that I asked my doctor about that I didn't know I had been tested for and was positive for um, because she never told me the last pregnancy or this one. Um, so, I have two um, gene mutations, so I have two like clotting disorders, and having those with um, being pregnant, uh, the estrogen raises your chances of blood clots, so she suggested that I be on blood thinners. Um, so I give myself an injection. This is called Clexane. It's the, like, a common um, anticoagulant in Europe. I don't think it's in the States. Different brand names. Um, so this is what it looks like. I think you can see it. But the needle's really small. It's like that big. And now I give them to myself every night after dinner. Um, and it's not a big deal. I wish I didn't have to be on these, but, you know, you know, you can't choose. I'd rather have this than a serious problem with a blood clot or something. Um, so, that's not so bad. The first time I gave it to myself, um, I didn't do it right. I didn't put the needle in all the way. And basically the fluid just went underneath my skin and it really hurt. <laughs> but if I do it right, and if I get enough fat, which is kind of challenging because it has to be on my my legs and I've got really like skinny legs and no butt <laughs> so it's really hard to grab like a huge chunk of skin and fat that's deep enough for the needle to go in without hurting so that's been tricky I'm trying to find like the right spot to do that um, but it's okay and I have changed doctors I'm now going to a doctor that I saw for a couple weeks with Hanny Jean's pregnancy, and I keep checking on her. She's napping right now, so I'm trying to be a little bit, a little quiet. Um, I saw him for a couple weeks at the end of that pregnancy because my doctor was on holiday. So I'm seeing him on the 25th, so that's the week after my ultrasound, and also. Yeah, I'll have to update him on the, the blood thinning situation, etc. I don't know if I'm going to have to stop them before my due date or how that's going to work. Um, I do not want to be induced. I think that's crazy. I'm hoping it's a small dosage, so I'm hoping it doesn't have that big of an effect. Hopefully I can just stop taking it like a couple weeks before my due date or something. Um, I'll have to talk to him and see what he says about that. I don't want to be induced or anything because that's just too many medical interventions for me. <laughs> um, and last time with Henny Jean, I went all natural and it was five hour labor with no problems. So I would really like to stick to that agenda <laughs> um, if possible. Um, do, do, do. So those are all the appointments I have. 
Um, as far as symptoms, I've been really tired this week. I'm thinking maybe I've got low iron. It kind of comes and goes though, so I'm not sure if that's the problem. I might try taking some iron supplements that I did with Henny Jean last time. I'll see what the doctor says about that. Um, I don't want to take them if I don't have to, so maybe I'll just get my iron. I'll see what my iron levels are at my last blood test. Um, let's see, what else? Other symptoms? The baby has been moving and kicking around. Ooh, I just got a kick. Um, which has been fun. It's been a little chilled out the last couple days. Last, yeah, last few days. Um, I think it's resting. <laughs> Um, but it usually moves a lot um, during the night. When we lay down, we usually watch a couple of episodes of SVU. Uh, we're watching that whole uh, series right now on Hulu, so uh, we'll be watching that and it'll be moving all around and that's fun. My husband has felt it a few times and I've seen it a few times on the outside, so that's cool. Hopefully the baby is head down and not breach or anything. I guess we'll find out at our ultrasound, which I cannot wait, because it's been a while since we've had an ultrasound. The last time was 13 weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that'd be fun. Any other symptoms? I don't really know. I really like mashed potatoes again. I, I was craving those like a month or so back. And I'm craving mashed potatoes again. I was craving corn chips with cream cheese. In the States, it would be Fritos with cream cheese, but we don't have Fritos here, so I've been eating tortilla chips with cream cheese, and it's been awesome. Um, what else? I haven't really been craving anything. I've been eating these little cinnamon rolls from Ikea, because we went to Ikea. Well, me and Henny Jean went and met a friend there. And I got a little bag of cinnamon rolls, and we've already eaten one bag <laughs> between me and Henny Jean, mostly me. Um, I think that's about it. I haven't really been craving anything. I haven't really been hungry in the evening around dinner time, so that's been interesting. I just eat a little bit, and then I end up hungry later, so that's been annoying. Other than that, oh yeah, my hernia is still um, there. Uh, nothing's changed. I have an appointment at the end of August to get that looked at with a surgeon and see what he thinks, but um, I have ordered um, a splint thing for my muscles and um, a DVD that shows you how to do some exercises because it's caused by a diastasis recti, which is like the um, splitting of your muscles. So you have vertical muscles and when you are pregnant, they split to make room for the belly. So, and then something can poke out there. And I think in my case, it's just like abdominal wall tissue poking through. Um, so the muscles bring those back together to correct the, the big gap there. And that'll correct the hernia because um, it won't have enough space to go out. So. I hope that works. It's called the Tupler Technique, and it's been on Oprah, and it's pretty well known, so I'll put a link in the description box if you want to check it out, if you think you have it. <laughs> it's pretty common. Um, so basically I'll be doing those exercises, and I'll report on the progress. But I'll show you the belly. This is 21 and a half weeks. So, I think you can definitely start to tell that I'm pregnant now, finally. And you can see my hernia poking out. My belly button. My poor belly. It's seen better days. <laughs> okay. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for week 22. Bye.